Okay, Mitos, so we installed the cover tape on one end of this. We said we had some other options to install some metal. So what we've got installed here is TPO coated metal. There's no primers involved, nothing like that. We're gonna actually weld to the membrane, weld to the metal. We've already got everything clean. Now the, the big detail to remember on this is right here. Wherever you start a new piece of metal, this is called a, a bond breaker. It's a kind of a mini expansion joint. So what we're gonna do, we never overlap coated metal. Like those other ones we could overlap, this one you can't. If you overlap coated metal and you pin it, I guarantee it's gonna split right there every 10 feet. So what we're gonna do, Mitos, take a piece of duct tape, we're gonna put down the face onto the flat, onto the deck just a little bit. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a piece of unsupported weld over top of that. So what the duct tape does, it doesn't allow you to weld it solid. I'm only gonna be welding a couple inches to either side of the duct tape. So it allows that metal to flex and move. That's the whole idea behind the bond breaker detail. Okay, now I've got the duct tape installed. I actually put two pieces on it. Now I'm gonna weld this piece of unsupported and then we're gonna strip it in once I get this all done. Yeah, I'm still doing a two pass. I'm actually gonna be welding all the way up to the duct tape. Now I gotta do the face of this. This is why we're harnessed off. I'm actually going to tuck it up under under this. Okay, now it's done. Now we're going to take our 8 inch and strip it in. We can use 6 inch. That's tie everything nice and neat. If you have scrap 8 inch, the thing is, we can, whatever size you use, just make it all the same as it's going down the roof. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of get my handgun just to tack it. It's kind of windy, so it'll blow away on us. Once I get a tack, I want you to hold it nice and tight, and I'll tack it down there, and you can move a little bit, and I'll just kind of follow you, tack it in place. But you don't want to attack where your welds are going to be. I'm just going to attack it in the middle. And we're going to stay about a quarter to a half inch away from the outside edge. Pull her nice and tight, Mitos. Keep, got it real tight? Got it nice and tight? Yep. Okay. So Mitos, we got a couple different robots to kind of show the audience. We got a regular BIK layer on that we've done the field seams with. We're going to weld the inside of the stripping with this one. And we also have the roof on, which you can do the outside of the edge. You know, back before we had these, we had to do this all by hand on the outside of the edge. Okay, we're up to temperature, about 900 degrees, 10 feet a minute. Now, something handy to have is when the guy's running this, when we come over our bond breaker, he can reach over and help crease that. So here's a T-joint. So when this is still warm, the guys running this can reach over and just crease that in. And here's our bond breaker. Just kind of make sure that's creased in nice. So this is our rough on edge welder. We talked about earlier, he's gonna run the edge. Ready to go, Mitos? All right, fire up. Again, this is why we're harnessed off. Working on this edge. Again, have the guy with the roller, or these are still warm, you can crease these T-joints in. So that's how we utilize both welders on a job. Check out our videos at gif.com slash roofing it right.